I'm back in the Netherlands. I spent two weeks at the beach in Italy. It's like 6.30 in the afternoon right now and I have to go to the grocery store because obviously there's no food in here. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna rain. I have a huge headache and I, I have a headache like almost every day in my life. It's so frustrating and debilitating. The reason why I get headaches is because of my neck and back for example when i have a backpack that is like hell for me so today i was carrying my backpack like all the time because i was you know in italy this morning so i had to fly here and take a train and take a bus and everything and i have a huge headache and it's killing me but i have to go out because i have no water and i have no food i mean it's definitely gonna rain in like oh my gosh like the, the sky is black almost it was, it was not a good idea my hair is completely wet also my glasses like oh my gosh look at this I'm like soaked in water having breakfast right now I discovered bees so basically it's cheese and bread and yeah I'm having two of these for breakfast and a peach because this is all I got yesterday actually I met a girl yesterday here in the kitchen and it's the first person I have ever talked to in this place so it's very exciting I have a call for uni for like two weeks after I have breakfast and in the afternoon I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store again this letter here it says the 4th of February 2024 and it's a letter that I wrote to my future self for the beginning of my semester abroad so yeah I'm reading it right now because yesterday night I I had a huge headache and I couldn't do anything and I also have one for the end of the semester and I don't remember what I was writing about so I'm just very excited for this and this is your reminder to write letters to your future self <laughs> because it's gonna be worth it if you remember that you have a letter to read it's two pages so I assume I had a lot of things to say there are probably a lot of things that I need to hear right now and my past self knew that so I'm really really proud of myself and <laughs> I'm happy I did this um, I'm actually not that emotional as I thought I was gonna be because the last time I studied abroad the first few days I was so sad and I was just like what am I doing here why am I not in my comfort zone at home but this time it feels different I don't know if I if it's just the fact that I grew up like it was three years ago last time and that I traveled for two years and a half as a flight attendant I don't know if it's because of this or because I have um, a bigger let's say support system around me like people that I trust and love I don't know I thought I was gonna cry and feel sad and emotional and it's not happening which is really really good so I'm just reading it right now um, you're gonna see my reaction because I don't know I don't remember <laughs> okay
I need to cry right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna have breakfast now and then I have an appointment to grab my bike in the city center. Basically there's this service, it's called Swap Fits, where you can rent a bike every single month. It's gonna make my life so much easier. I'm just excited to like bike back home. It will be, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. The ride back home was one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. Um, this bike is so different from the one that I have in Italy. It is completely different. There are no brakes in your hands. Like, okay, I'm going to the city center. I'm gonna get my nails done, finally. This is the, this is the before. I just came back home. These are the nails. I am so in love with them. I did the ab. In the afternoon here, it's so warm because there's the sun here. So yeah, I got a lot of things and I am shocked because you don't even know how many things you need to buy when you move. I got this like yoga mat. Then I got this glass. It's for toothpaste and toothbrush. Then I got this pan and then I got this one. Then I got this for my keys. Hand soap because I need it for the kitchen. Then I got this lip balm, it's coconut. Then I have heat protection spray, just a random one, it was um, cheap. And then dry shampoo. And then I got two body lotions. This is sparkling, like it should be sparkling. And this is just like the regular moisturizer. So yeah, this is all I got and that's it. Okay, it is Tuesday today. Yesterday night I spent like three hours chatting and drinking wine with two, let's say, your roommates? No, like with two other girls, uh, one from Austria and one from Germany. And we were there like chatting in the shared kitchen and it was like such a beautiful moment. I also met another Italian girl at 11. I have a job interview. I really want to work in that place. I'm gonna bike there very slowly. Also like I'm thinking about the fact that I'm probably like the happiest I've ever been maybe in my life <laughs> i it just feels like what i'm doing and what's happening to me like in my life right now is just right it just feels right it just feels like this is where i'm meant to be and i don't know i just feel very happy and satisfied with like so many aspects of my life right now i just feel like i'm myself and i am okay with that and i've never felt this way so yeah, just wanted to share this. I think it's almost 3 p.m. right now. I had to go out after lunch because I had to change my bike. The bike that I got the other day, it only had pedal brakes. It did not have a brake in your hand. You know, you cannot stop the bike like this. I'm used to stopping my bike like that because in Italy I only have that kind of brake. And also the bike was huge and it was like the cheapest, so that's why. So um, I went there and I upgraded my subscription because I needed brakes in my hands. I just tried it and it's like life-changing. I'm so happy I went. I think I have a fever. I'm not sure, but like I think I have a fever. I don't feel great and 
I don't know why I just have like a slight headache and I don't know I just got the cherry diet coke at the grocery store I have never tried it and I'm just I'm just so excited to try it right now it's so warm outside today it's 28 degrees so I really need to drink something refreshing right now <laughs> if I feel better I would like to go for a run but I don't really know if it's a good idea that I'm, I mean, I'm not feeling great so I don't know I decided I'm going for a run to see if, I, if I'm gonna feel better I was having dinner in the kitchen and the girl from Indonesia she told me like oh wait wait I have something for you and she was like this is from my country it's like um wallet i don't know how to explain and i was like what like it's just so nice i was like so happy i was like thank you so much i didn't know what to say i was like thank you so much thank you so much like thank you so much i really appreciate that i wasn't expecting it that was just like a really nice thing the job interview i had the other day went really really well and today I have a trial day let's say so I'm gonna work there for five hours and they told me that if I like it and if they like me then I can start working there um, I was like the happiest person ever when they told me that because I was like oh my gosh this is real it's an amazing place it was like my first choice in Groningen and I'm so happy about it I did my trial day at work today at a cafe. I love it. On my way home, I got a book. It's this one. I really hope it's good. I'm reading it with another person. Like, no, it doesn't make sense. But like, how can I explain this? Another person that is not here with me. Hi, I know you're watching this. Um, <laughs> is getting the same book and we're reading it even if we're not in the same place it th does it make sense i think it's really nice to like read the same thing even if you're not in the same place and like you're not even in the same country like i don't know how to explain and then you can talk about the book later and i also got this sweater and it's from the university of groningen it says university of groningen and on the back as well can you see it i really really wanted to get a sweater from this university because when i was in france three years ago during my exchange semester it was like covid time so the store that sold like sweaters and everything was closed so i never got the Kong university sweater and i've always been like oh my gosh i have to go back to Kong just to get the sweater and of course i'm not doing it but i was like you know for this semester i this is like a non-negotiable like i have to get the university sweater because it's gonna be like such a sweet souvenir i'm sorry they're calling me bye bye <laughs> I just want 
It's 8.30 kind of. I loved this day, like I loved how I spent this Saturday because it's like my perfect day. I love spending time alone sometimes and like I, I love going on solo dates. It was just like one of those days where I was actually really really relaxed and happy and I was like reading my book again in the afternoon and I did not film it. And while I was reading it, I was like thinking about the fact that a few years ago, like I think like even two years ago maybe, I would have done like the same things and like I would have gone to places by myself, but I would have felt so anxious and like I would have been worried about every single thing. And I just realized how today I was just like relaxed, actually relaxed, and I was not like thinking about many problems so like I wasn't really thinking about anything really like I was just enjoying my time with myself and it was like a shock for me because I've always been like very anxious like being alone in like a new country or like in a new city and it just feels so crazy that I'm like here and I'm just like reading a book in another city and I'm like relaxed. I really like the person that I am right now and I have to thank myself because I think I have always tried to like go out of my comfort zone and I've always done many things that were scary at first and I think this is the reason why I am able to be relaxed and to feel at home in a place that I've never even like visited before. I really hope that when you're watching my videos you think like oh I could try to do this or like I could try to move to a new place and because this is exactly the reason why I have improved in my life the fact that I'm always like pushing myself so please if you're like thinking about moving or thinking about like studying abroad or like to spend like a month in another country or um, whatever it is that is like going out of your comfort zone please do it because it's gonna help you in so many ways and you don't even know like how much just like a trip could change your life I'm gonna call my best friend now and I don't really know what we are going to do tomorrow because I think we're gonna like go out like me and other people here from this building but I I still don't know what we're gonna do